Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you what I know about classes in QuickBooks. And it's not a whole lot. I do have some experience and I have helped some churches with them. Um, but maybe it'll help you and especially how you structure your chart of accounts. Um, classes, they're, they're related to the chart of accounts in that the typical chart of accounts, they allow you to go north and south because you got your assets, liability, equity, income and expenses, but then your classes, they allow you to go um, east and west, if you want to say it, but they allow you to go more on the horizontal. And one of the first ways I used them is I had uh, two churches that were um, meeting in the same building. And so they could have uh, church one here and then start a second set right here, church two here, or they could have a set, separate set of books entirely, which is what they actually did have. But instead, with classes, they were able to show, here's church one, here's church two, and then here's the total of both churches. And you can do those reports uh, where you either have them combined or you can report on them separately. And it ended up being a very slick idea. So here I am in QuickBooks Online, and I'll just show you how to you can activate classes or you can have it turned off. So here's how you do that. You go over to this little gear thing and click on that. And then it's over in account and settings. And you gotta go all the way down to advanced. And then under advanced, you might think of being chart of accounts, but it's not. It's actually below that and it's categories. And you can see track classes, track locations, and so when you click on that, you have the option of turning it on and off. You have an option if, if you need to have classes with everything, go ahead and turn that warning on. And then I like it that I can have choose a class for each row um, because then I could use multiple classes in one transaction. And then there's also, if you want to do locations, that would also give you another dimension besides just classes, which might be helpful. Um, so that that's how you actually get um, classes turned on if you don't have it on. So when you're entering a transaction, then then it does change a little bit on how you do your entry. So a bill or a deposit, you know, you, most of it looks normal. Category is your account your, from your chart of accounts, but on the far right then is your class, and that's where you would choose which class you have. All right, so now what does a report look like in QuickBooks Online that has classes? So let's go ahead and go to reports and under your business overview in the standard reports, there's already one that's basically set up for you, uh, profit and loss by class. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one. And I, I really don't use classes a whole lot. Um, I use it mainly for this Builders Club program where I, I track the donations by quarter because there's a quarterly call. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this for the whole calendar year because that'll make a lot more sense. Um, and I'm gonna run it. And then I'm also gonna filter it too. So customize. And here's by the way where you might wanna change, um, the, change the different columns. I'm not gonna do that right now. I wanna actually just filter it. Uh, when you filter, usually I filter by uh, distribution account and and I could do that here too if I wanted to I could just choose the ones that I know are related to that but even quicker and actually this would tell me also if I made some mistakes in how I uh, coded my classes I'm just gonna choose classes and I'm gonna choose those builders clubs ones and when I run it Here's what you get. And I do see that I do have a couple of small errors. I have this $25 one that needs to be cleaned up. I usually clean up stuff every quarter. So, and then I also have uh, another one hanging out there. But you can see the different amounts, how much I'm bringing in each quarter for the donations and how much we're spending for grants. And you can see that we're basically breaking even. We had leftover money from prior, prior years. So we were close enough for how it was. Uh, but that does give us a breakdown, um, especially as, again, we have four different calls per year and different calls might have a different response. And it just does let us track it nice and easily. And we can track it over the years if we wanted to that way. So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. Um, the churches that I see probably getting the most help out of this would be those ones that probably have multiple campuses. 
you know, they're multi-location where you don't want to keep making your chart of accounts longer, but you just make it a little bit wider. And that way you can see the big picture. Also, those, like I said earlier, the, the federated church where you have two different churches meeting in the same location, you can have one bookkeeper. Um, I always appreciate hearing back from you. So if you have comments, suggestions for other videos, I'll, I'll gladly consider them. And uh, until next time, God bless you.